I am standing before you because I believe in my heart that the voices of survivors affected by this horrible crime is being overlooked and minimized by this topic. These conversations are at the very crux of why over 85% of cases of sexual assault go unreported and far more under-prosecuted. We stand here debating an issue that is nowhere related to the program you're funding, and yet it has taken center stage on a state and local level, and that only highlights their shame. We are asking for funding for therapists trained in the unique and highly sensitive dynamics of sexual assault and post-traumatic stress. To create such a hullabaloo over the non-related practice of offering a medication that is essential in the ability for some survivors to move forward from their trauma really just takes away from what is really important and vital to their healing, restoring their power. We're talking about $57,000 of about a $1.5 million budget roughly, so about 3%. If we want to fund help Turning Point, then we provide them the $57,000, the 3% of their budget. <laughs> and and we, we do it in a manner that will alleviate any concerns that council members might have uh, with their conscience. And so my proposal is pretty simple. We write into the contract of the grant that the $57,000 is for counseling, any administrative support that may be um, uh, applicable, and then we move on to the business of the city. So I, I think to a certain degree this, this whole debate was a somewhat self-inflicted. We could have we could have figured out a way to do this in a much more simplistic manner, and, and that's what we're going to try to do. I have gained so much understanding through this process, and you know, one thing that has really been on my mind is that you know, when when we go through something like this, I hope that something good comes of it. So I, I just wanted to say that I I hope that that everyone will keep reaching out and that we can continue the dialogue about things beyond just this funding that we can continue to do about sexual assault in our community. So please, please do keep reaching out. Thank you. We have taken a stand in this city to say, we will support these survivors. We will support these victims. And I would prefer that this sale close and be in perpetuity that we never, ever have to come back to this discussion again.